Hello, friend. Thanks for stopping by. Together, let's learn about your new toy. Slime. With this handy Kawaii Slime Company care guide, you'll be a slime expert in no time. Now remember, slime is recommended for children ages 5 years old and up. And don't forget, always use adult supervision. Now let's get into it! Before you play with your slime, you want to clean a hard, non-porous surface like a kitchen countertop or similar. Then, you will wash your hands with soap and water. Once you're done, pull your slime out of the container and have fun! There are so many types of slime! Let's go over some together! Butter slime is great for squeezing and stretching with your hands. Cloud slime makes mesmerizing drizzles. Glossy slimes make great satisfying noises. Slushy, fishbowl, and bingsu slime makes amazing crunching sounds. Clear slime is great for stretching and poking. There is no right or wrong way to play with slime. Just have fun! Did you know? The first slime toy was made by Mattel in 1976. Now let's discuss the best way to store slime. Slime is best stored in a cool environment and away from direct sunlight. Remember, heat and sunlight will melt your slime if exposed to those conditions for too long. With proper care, slime can last a long time. But slime is an expendable product and not recommended to keep forever. This time frame varies depending on individual use. If you notice your slime change color or produce odor, please throw it away. Why is slime so fun to watch? Slime stimulates the autonomous sensory meridian response, aka ASMR. Watching and playing with slime invokes a feeling of well-being combined with a tingling sensation in the scalp. Here's some tricks and tips. It is important to note that your slime should arrive to you in perfect condition and should not need the included activator or softener. We advise not using the included activator or softener unless you are certain they are needed. Once you add ingredients to your slime, you will change its consistency and you may not like the resulting texture. Only in certain cases of extremely warm or cold weather or a prolonged shipping time will necessitate the need for slime activator or softener. Let's discuss sticky slime. You may want to test your slime for stickiness by quickly touching the surface of your slime. If you feel that your slime feels more than just tacky or is sticking to your fingertip completely, please follow the steps below. 1. Get a clean bowl ready. 2. Open your slime and spray your activator onto the top of your slime and then onto both of your hands. 3. Remove your slime from the jar and place it into your bowl. 4. Start kneading your slime for 10 to 20 seconds. 5. If your slime is still sticking to your hands, spray one pump of activator onto your slime. 6. Knead for 10 to 20 more seconds and continue this process only if necessary. Now remember, it is very easy to overactivate slime. Please go little by little and knead thoroughly in between sprays. Is your slime stiff? Slime can feel stiff for a few reasons. Either it was mistakenly overactivated, exposed to cold weather, or it was left out to dry. If you want to fix a stiff slime due to cold weather, follow the steps below. Let your slime come up to room temperature naturally or let your slime sit near a sunny window for a few hours. In a hurry, add a few drops of slime softener and knead. Repeat if necessary. To fix a stiff slime due to overactivation, let your slime sit for a few days to let the natural deactivation process occur or add a few drops of slime softener and knead. Repeat if necessary. To fix a stiff dried out slime, dried out slime can rarely be rescued. So it is best to always seal your slime tightly to prevent this from occurring. Depending on how dried out it has become, try one of these tips. Add a drop of slime softener and knead. Repeat if necessary. Or add a small amount of glue to your slime. White glue for white glue based slimes and clear glue for clear glue based slimes. Is your clear slime not clear anymore? As you play with clear slime, it will form tiny air bubbles which will give your clear slime a white or opaque appearance. Let your slime sit in its jar for a week or more untouched and watch it magically clear back up. Does your slime look deflated? All slime can deflate over time. And this is totally normal. This is caused as moisture slowly evaporates from your slime. The more you play with your slime, the more moisture will release. Adding more moisture will help counteract this. If you find your slime always in a deflated state, it may be time for a new slime. In this section, we discuss advanced slimes. 
Certain slime textures have more complex features and characteristic traits. If you are new to slime, these textures will take more time and practice getting used to them. So, if you are struggling, just keep at it. You'll be a slime expert in no time. Now, let's discuss these advanced textures. Cloud, Floam, Slushy, Sugar, and Bingsu slimes are all advanced textures which need a little more care and consideration when playing with them. They will require certain hand dexterity and proper care to keep them in optimal shape. Here are some tips regarding cloud slime. Did you know? Cloud slime is one of the most complex slimes to make. It is created with instant snow powder, which has been hydrated to an exact measurement to ensure a smooth, drizzly cloud effect. If you decide to add water, slime softener, lotion, or any other ingredient, you will change the water dynamics within your cloud slime. And you may end up with a slime that no longer drizzles or is too wet feeling. Your cloud slime should never need any other ingredient except for activator after about 1-2 to two months after receiving it. It is also important to practice good hygiene with cloud slime, as it is water heavy and it can attract more germs. So please store the slime properly and away from any dark, warm places. Now some tips about Floam, Slushy, Sugar, and Big Sue slimes. These slimes are created with different sensory beads to give the user a crunchy feeling while playing with it. It is important that you do not add activator to this slime unless you are certain it's needed. Too much activator could make the beads fall out of your slime during use and create a messy playing experience. Did you know? Over time, the chemical attraction between the glue molecules to bar on ions will naturally weaken. Your once perfect slime will start to melt and feel sticky. This process is completely normal and varies with each type of slime. But you will notice this happening over the course of one to two months. Some people mistake this as their slime went bad and throw it away. Please know that your slime is not bad. All you need to do is reactivate your slime with a few pumps of activator and presto! Your slime is back to new! This ooey gooey substance has fascinated millions around the world. You are probably wondering, what is the science behind slime? It's hard to believe that your beloved toy slime could be so educational, but it is! Learning about slime is learning about chemistry and how polymers work. Slime at a very basic level shows how two substances combine and how their molecules are rearranged in the process. Follow me to learn about how slime works. To learn the science behind slime, we first need to learn about polymers. There are all types of polymers in the world that have a variety of forms and a broad range of properties. Some items made from polymers can even be found in nature, such as wood, amber, and natural rubber. A polymer is composed of very large chains of molecules that repeat. To make slime, you first need a polymer substance like PVA glue. These long chains of the PVA glue slide past one another easy, which keeps the glue flowing in normal conditions. But once you introduce an activator solution like sodium borate, you then start the cross-linking process that will turn this liquidy glue into slime. Did you know? DNA is a natural polymer! Wow! Now let's discuss cross-linking. Once these long chain molecules of the glue are combined with the borate ions from your activator solution, you create the cross-linking effect. The borax solution loves to connect with the water that is added into the slime recipe. Then, billions of borax molecules randomly link trillions of water molecules found anywhere on the chains of the PVA glue. The more cross-linked molecules, the larger the polymeric material that is made from the reaction. Additionally, as more cross-links are made, the more the polymeric material becomes less liquid-like and gains solidity. The result is a tangled mass that we all know and love as slime. Let's talk about non-Newtonian fluids. A Newtonian fluid is defined by having one constant viscosity. A non-Newtonian fluid does not obey Newton's law of viscosity. Slime is considered a non-Newtonian fluid because it can behave like a fluid and a solid, and its viscosity is dependent on the shear stress that is applied. What are some other types of non-Newtonian fluids? Ketchup, toothpaste, shampoo, and even blood! Whoa! Have you heard about shear thinning and shear thickening before? 
Slime is the perfect medium for learning about viscosity and shear stress. Let the slime drip through your fingers and notice the low viscosity making it behave more like a thick liquid. Now hit the slime against a hard surface and you will see it react more like a solid mass. Have fun experimenting with the different tensile strengths of your slime by slowly pulling your slime versus quickly pulling it. Notate how they react to different rates of shear stress. Pull too quick and witness the slime break into solid pieces. Stretch it very slow and watch how this gooey substance will stretch for miles. Now, let's talk about some of the benefits of slime playing. This amazing substance is so much more than glue and glitter. It's a playful medium for expressing creativity, invoking joy, and calming your nerves. Playing with slime is great for kids and kid adults alike. You are never too old or too young to create a happy, peaceful moment with yourself to connect with your inner child. 1. Fosters creativity and exploration. 2. Supports language development. 3. Creates quiet, mindful playing experiences. 4. Developing and enhancing memory. 5. Assists in developing fine and gross motor skills. Thanks for joining me, friend! We hope this guide has served as a useful tool in learning about your new toy, Slime!